Our second weekly resistance check is performed on the patient ground strap and ground cord. Pretty much the same procedure. One thing you might have to do sometime to get a good connection is take your test lead, do a little scratch there on the backing plate of the wrist strap, and take your other test lead and wedge it right in to the openings on the banana plug. And you need to press hard and firm to get a good reading. And that one's coming out at 0.997 mega ohms, bouncing around a little bit, but definitely within uh, specification. The ground strap for the patient actually has a different uh, limit than the, than the uh, chamber chassis itself. These go to one mega ohm, whereas the chassis of the chamber is one ohm. Uh, one of the problems I find though with these wrist straps is a lot of centers I've been to only have a couple of these. Patients have to reuse them. They're absorbent, they're difficult to keep clean, and they wear out over time. Uh, I think it's a, a infectious control issue and I don't like using them at all. Instead, at my center we use the 3M Red Dot EKG pad. Uh, it works very well. It's a one-time use. You throw it away when you're done. Now, some people are a little concerned about these. They're concerned about the inside. There's a little bit of a lubricant there for a good electrical connection. Uh, there is some foam sticky here. Uh, however, I've gone over this with my safety director and hyperbaric uh, medical director. They're both uh, happy with using these. We've used them quite a bit over the years, and we don't have any problems uh, with safety using these. Now, when I do my weekly check, I don't normally use this. I just use the uh, test leads and go end to end like this. However, I do want to show that we don't have a resistance issue when we use the red dot. I can just put this right here. Put my test lead on the banana plug. And we're right at 0.999 mega ohms. We're definitely right within the limit.